This is the ninth episode of Versus Video Series or VS Squared. This is the Warzone Stick Show. This channel is now the IT Fighting Arena. We're gonna make them fight till death so that you will learn more and understand things better. So, there's this video about CCIE and other Cisco Expert level certifications. Many people online and in person are saying that CCIE is not that great anymore as there are many other options. So, I always ask them, which expert level you think is better than CCIE? So, for vendor expert level certifications, um, I dare you. Be my guess. Nothing beats CCIE. Fortinet? No. Palo Alto Networks? Nah. F5? Red Hat? None of the above. How about penetration testing? Expert level certifications. Well, it's really different, you know, because when you say penetration testing certifications or penetration testing itself, you don't really build IT infrastructure. Okay, so Cisco, going back to Cisco, Cisco is, or shall I say was, Cisco was the, do the dominant vendor certification. And maybe you are thinking, who dominates vendor certifications now? Not Cisco anymore, but AWS. There are more people taking and passing AWS certifications than Cisco in 2023, 2024, and 2025. And though AWS doesn't have expert level certifications like CCIE, many AWS professionals dream of earning the gold jacket. So what is AWS gold jacket? It's an internal badge of honor, a rare recognition given to individuals who've mastered multiple AWS certifications in all levels, foundational, associate, professional, and specialty. So in this video, we're diving deep into a hot topic. Which one is better? The legendary CCIE or Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert. And when I say CCIE, it can be any track, enterprise, security, data center, etc. So again, the legendary CCIE or the elusive AWS gold jacket. We'll break down the difference, prestige, technical depth, and real-world impact on both. So that you'll know which path fits your goals, whether you're building networks or architecting the cloud. Let's talk about my qualifications first. I am a CCIE with over 50 Cisco certifications. And I'm focusing on these technologies or Cisco technologies, enterprise infrastructure, security, data center, DevNet, and cyber ops. I don't have AWS Gold Jacket, but let's say I am halfway of getting it. I am both CCSI and AAI. CCSI stands for Certified Cisco System Instructor, and AAI stands for AWS Authorized Instructor, meaning I deliver official training courses of both vendors. I also have access to all of the instructor materials on both Cisco and AWS, including lab access and updated presentation materials. I also own and manage a VAR or SI. VAR stands for Value Added Reseller, SI System Integrator. Yeah, so this is an um, IT company specializing in secure infrastructure for both cloud and on-prem environments. I also have a strong understanding of customer technical solution requirements worldwide. How to get AWS Gold Jacket? Well, first, you need to obtain all AWS certifications. And as of 2025, AWS offers 12 certifications across various levels. We have AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, AWS Certified AI Practitioner, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, AWS Certified SysOps Admin Associate, AWS Certified Developer Associate, and we also have AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate, as well as AWS Certified Machine Learning Engineer Associate. Now for professional level and specialty level, we have AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional, AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. We have also AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty, AWS Certified Security Specialty. 
and AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty. So after earning all of these 12 certifications, you can be awarded the gold jacket if you meet one of the following criteria. First, you are an AWS employee. And maybe you're thinking, our AWS employee are only eligible to get this AWS gold jacket? No. Another criteria is you work for an AWS premier partner. So basically, these are the AWS bar or AWS SIs. But what if you're not working with an AWS bar? Well, you can still get the AWS gold jacket if you are part of AWS community and holds titles such as AWS ambassador, AWS hero, or AWS community builder. Once you are eligible for the AWS gold jacket, you will be asked to choose your size and pay for it. So how to get CCIE? I don't want to repeat the details. Just watch this video where I talk about not just CCIE, but also the other two Cisco expert level certifications. These are Cisco Certified DevNet Expert and CCDE. So which one is better? CCIE or AWS Gold Jacket? Let's break this down, shall we? Most of you will say it depends. Again, in this channel, we avoid stating the obvious. Rather, we're going to do some scoring here. And let's dig deep and talk about details. So here are the criteria where we will score which one is better, CCIE or AWS Gold Jacket. So first is the global popularity and recognition. Which one you think you will be more proud of? A CCIE or AWS Gold Jacket? Um, well, based on my experience, and I think many people would agree, CCIE wins this one. Next, certification journey and experience. Getting all 12 AWS certifications or getting CCIE. And when you say CCIE, we'll not gonna limit just CCIE. Let's also consider the complete journey. So getting CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. So if you're gonna compare 12 certifications or 12 AWS certifications versus Cisco certifications on three levels, associate, professional, and expert, um, there's no doubt the discipline and the mindset, the overall experience, CCIE wins this one big time. Next, value for money. Let's assume CCNA, CCMP, and CCIE. The cost are 300, 700 for CCNP, and 1,600 for the CCIE lab. So the total of 2,600 US dollars. Now for the 12 AWS certification, this costs around 1,275 US dollars and the AWS Gold Jacket cost around 200 to 300 USD, total of a little less than 1,600 US dollars. So 2,600 US dollars versus a little less than 1,600, I will give this to AWS Gold Jacket. Next, longevity and relevance over time. Let's be honest here. Some technologies are becoming more and more obsolete. And it doesn't make sense to specialize in legacy technologies. It's better to learn more advanced fields like machine learning and AI, cloud security, DevOps, and many others. And obviously, Cisco will not win this one. Yes, it's AWS Gold Jacket wins this criteria. Next, market demand. CCIE and Again, it can be any track, enterprise security, or even data center. You see, many companies are looking for cloud skills, not just cloud skills, but also developer skills, machine learning, AI, and DevOps. And uh, unfortunately, you will, you will not get all of these skills if you're just specializing in Cisco technologies. So again, AWS Gold Jacket got this one. Next. Lab resources. In CCIE, you can build your own lab, fully customizable, and it can be free or with only minimal cost. 
You can also do rack rentals. But in AWS, <laughs> I'm not really impressed in many of the lab exercises available in Skill Builder. It's also not easy to create your own lab with various scenarios examples. Also, AWS or building your AWS lab can also be very costly. So, CCIE wins this one. Next, vendor commitment and brand impact. AWS as a company is still growing and becoming more and more advanced. Unfortunately, Cisco has already reached its peak. I, we still don't know what's going to happen next. What advanced technology Cisco will introduce in the next months, in the next coming years. But for now, I will go for AWS. Next, community and ecosystem support. You see, the CCNA community is huge. But as you move up to the professional and expert level, there are fewer and fewer people participating. Unlike in AWS, where regardless of levels or track, the community remains large. AWS Gold Jacket again wins this one. Next, career growth potential. For CCIE, again, it can be any track, enterprise, security, or even data center. Um, or 12 AWS certification. Assuming you master the content and the blueprint of all of the exams, uh, not just CCIE, again, CCNA, CCNP, and that CCIE track versus the 12 AWS certifications. Again, let's assume you master the content and the blueprint of all exams. Which one do you think has better career growth potential? For me, I will not be biased. I'll go for AWS. So, let's check our scores. CCIE got only three. While AWS Gold Jacket got six, we have a winner. I'm not saying AWS Gold Jacket is always better. It still depends on your role. It still depends on your career. I'm just saying that the technological advancement and knowledge you will gain getting those 12 AWS certifications can be more valuable to more companies. So, what do you think? If you have to choose, which one is more important, more valuable to you, CCIE or AWS Gold Jacket?